Welcome back to what has been way overdue this part of the tutorial. I'm sorry for being so overdue, but I, just, well, I don't really have a good excuse for this one, except for Christmas, really. That's really the only good excuse I have. So, anyway, I think I figured out how the rest of the series is going to go, finally. So, like, I know how. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do is, this episode we're going to go over IK rigging and the feet. So that it, like, stays parallel to the ground. Even when, you know, you move his leg like this. And, uh, then next episode, facial panel so you can like grab a little butt thing here and then move it around and someone's face happens also the material for the eyes will probably go over real quick next part maybe this part I don't know and then after that I'll probably have a little mini series where I will I mean not a mini series but a bunch of smaller five to ten minute episodes of just little things that you can do as well in case you, you know, want a different kind of rig than you get in the series. Okay, so let's start with IK rigging, shall we? First, let's jump right into it. We're going to hit tab to go into bone edit mode. We're going to select this at the end of that finger, this at the end of that finger, this at the end there. So we're going to have all of these, and when we drag it around, it should look something like that. Is But we're going to put those right back for right now. And then extrude it down two pixels. Da, 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 da. Select all of them. Go into their little bone panel here. Click the X on parent. Right click on it. Copy to selected. So that they don't have a parent anymore. And you can just drag them around like this. Now here's where the naming comes in to be kind of a bit of a pain in the neck. So we're going to go ahead and name this left leg IK right leg IK right arm IK left arm IK okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select um those and the elbows. And we're going to see where the face is. The face is right there. And we're going to extrude it out two pixels again. Again, do the same thing with the uh, unparent them. And then this time, we're going to drag them That was weird. We're going to drag them out this way. About six, I'd say. Six grid squares. And away from his face. It should be pointing like that, so you can kind of see. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing, only opposite for the uh, little legs here. Extrude them out the other way towards the face. Ah. Drag them out about six pixels the opposite direction. Cool. Now I'll go ahead and name those. So let's see. We've got to, uh, left elbow IK, right elbow IK. Left knee, IK, and right knee, IK. Okay, now comes the easy part, which is actually the actual making the IK constraints. Now, in the bone constraints tab, we're going to go ahead and add bone constraint under tracking inverse kinematics. Hit the target, char armature, whatever your armature is called, then under the bone, go to, I don't know, whatever this would be, left elbow. 
left elbow IK, that is. There it is, left elbow IK. And it's gonna make the entire body go what? So we're gonna set the chain length to one on the top. For the bottom, inverse kinematics, joint armature. This time we're gonna do leg IK. So wherever it is. I mean, um, I mean, no, 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 arm IK, sorry. So we're gonna left arm IK, where is it? Where is it? Left arm IK, there it is, right there, I can't find it. Left arm IK, right there at the top. And now it's gonna do this crazy thing where if we I don't even know. It might be useful for some scenes, but we're gonna set it to one, and then it's still gonna do this weird, wacko thing that we don't really want. And then we're gonna set it to two, and magically, all of a sudden, it works. It works like a charm, except yours will probably be going like this. And oh, that's very ugly, especially for sharp ends. So we're going to check Y and Z under the actual bone panel thingy here and limit X. Set it to, I don't know, whatever, but it's probably going to have a 0 and a 90 in it. And it'll only bend to there. And now you can drag this around and we'll see it kind of works, sort of, but you got to kind of, it's kind of inversed. It's weird and it really doesn't work all that well, but... I think you'll notice that if I only do it a little bit, it, it really does. It 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 sort of works, kinda, but not really all that well. But if you really want to make your arm turn, you can just rotate this bone at the top here, and ta-da, and then yeah. But if you rotate it too much, it's gonna do that. That's fine. Just drag this over here. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's Blender. So I don't know. I don't really have anything to defend it. Anyway, do the exact same thing for all the others. I'm just going to go ahead and do it without talking really quick. Okay, there we go. So now we've got our. A boom, a boom, a boom, buddy, boom, ba boom, boom, a boom, a boom, buddy, boom, ba boom. Okay. Now, as I said before, for the legs, this really doesn't work at all. Uh, wait. It really doesn't work well at all for the legs. I can't, I don't know what the difference is really, but it just doesn't tend to work very well for the, oh no, I just deleted the leg or hit it, whichever one. It's not really good. Um, but yes, it, it's, that's pretty much it for the actual IK rigging. Now it's time for the feet so that it'll like, unless you like it kind of like this, this is kind of element animation style right here. Where the feet just kind of roll with it. They just kind of take the turn with the rest of the leg. But I like using feet that stay parallel to the ground, if you know what I mean at all, which you probably don't. But uh, go check out Simon Cowell's rig and see how the work. Yeah, okay. So first off, we're going to select these two. And uh, we're going to do it kind of what we did before, only extrude it one pixel out and keep them parented and you no need to name them really not right now but uh yeah i will notice that they kind of go along with the foot there now we're gonna hit control tab with the legs selected and go into weight paint mode or you could just select the leg and then go but but I don't know what this texture paint is. Oh, it's for custom textures, like, that you make inside. Yeah, okay. So first off, we're going to select the knee leg joint thing, I guess, and take away all its control over the bottom vertices here. 
Now we'll notice that kind of just leaves that behind, really. It's not a very pretty sight. It does not look very nice. Um, to be honest, it looks very, very painful. But, then we're going to select this, this right here. The little one that we just made. I'm going to go ahead and give it control over all of these bottom vertices. And then, voila, it works again. And then we're going to go ahead and give it a bone constraint. The little, the little guy right here. That we can rotate and make it, you know, foot. Okay, and then we're going to give it bone constraint copy rotation. Geometer. Wait, what should this be? Left leg IK. And now, ta -da, dun -da -dun. okay. So we could have just given the um, IK control over. I know it doesn't look very good yet. Don't worry. We could have just given the IK bone control over the bottom. But the reason I added in a new bone was so that what it does not do is when you bring the IK out like this, it doesn't go stretch with it and go crazy. And I realize for some people that might be useful, but whatever. Okay. Not whatever. Sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go into the basis and shape piece here. And I'm going to select everything except for these vertices here. Select everything except these four edges. That's it. Edges. These edges here. I'm going to turn their mean crease up. And we know what that means usually. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a new modifier, subdivision so surface. Turn you up to about three, render four, I think. And now it's gonna look pretty, not gross. But it's gonna look a little bit weird when I kind of move it like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the bone constraint for the little little bone here um, underneath the IK. I'm going to uncheck Z. So it doesn't follow it along the Z axis. And it's going to look a lot better in a lot of places. And this is what I use. I used to use a bunch of shape keys and it did not work out well. I didn't like this way before because it kind of deforms if you if you go if you go pretty far it it deforms actually like that it starts deforming but not until you get a yeah it, it just looks great so that's how that is done really I'm gonna show you how once you actually know how to do it how fast you can do it but I can do this in like under nope nope look what I just did look what I just did see that not a good thing to do Do not give the IK control. I have to keep reminding myself that. But I bet I can do this in under three minutes. It's a challenge to myself now. This entire series was all really a challenge to myself. I mean, you know, I'm here to help people, but, you know, that's all great and stuff. But it, the, the series was pretty much a challenge to myself to see if I could really rig as well as I thought I could and I can apparently because a lot of people are saying I'm doing a good job I don't really think I am but okay you know I'm not gonna argue I can see when I move this up and down. It's kind of like that. It's really cool. It's, it looks really cool because they stay parallel to the ground. And we're just gonna hide the. Nope. Nope. Thank you. Hide those two bones. Doesn't matter. We can go into edit mode and we can still see them, but we won't have to be bothered by them in pose mode. Okay, yeah. So much better. So, yeah, really, um, actually got a lot done this episode. 
Alrighty, I hope that wasn't too long, and I hope to... What is this? I suspect... Wait, painting. Fault. Aha!